This is the power trailer. It's just a trailer with a battery pack and some solar panels. And you know, the question that many people ask from time to time is, why don't Tesla have uh, solar panels on the roof or just cover the whole car with solar panels? Well, I would try to test this. Uh, now we have a sunny day in Norway and figure out whether it's worth it or not. So let me show you. Um, the panels are one by one meter, so this is nine square meters of uh, panels, which is pretty big. Uh, if you want to put that on the roof, um, I'm not sure how much you can have. This one just happened to have the, the panorama roof. So um, maybe one square meter is, you know, what you can fit there. But you can't just fit the whole car with uh, uh, solar panels, unless it's a Scion, of course, but... Uh, uh, one so let's let's assume okay one square meter now how much power do you get from one square meter now you see that we have um, it's yeah the Sun is moving so we see that about 40% of the panel is uh, is in the direct Sun but you also get some power from the indirect uh, but let's see here let's look at the inverter okay um, Oh, it's working right now, okay. There's some fan going on. Uh, 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 lots of uh, numbers here. Battery. Uh, what? Okay, okay. So the battery is charging at 5 to 6 amps. Okay, sometimes 6, sometimes 5. So in best case, 6 amps uh, at 105 volts. So quick math is uh, around 650 watts. Yeah, and this one is supposed to be a 1.3 kilowatt uh, peak panel. So yes, best case you get 1.3 kilowatt. Um, but we only, that, this is you know, huge, this is nine panels. I can show you again here how big they are. So if you assume only one of these, one panel on the Tesla, then you could get about one kilowatt, right? So one kilowatt is not even enough to to run it on the minimum. Well, at least you know by default. But of course, the car could be programmed to run it at lower. But let me show you here. This is how, what it looks like. Um, we've been charging for a little while. Uh, now we we charge at. Uh, three around three kilowatt because we are using energy from the battery right now not directly from the panels uh, But here in the Tesla at least you can lower this the minimum is 5 amp 5 amp is about 1.3 kilowatt so <laughs> um, Even when running at the minimum set by this one it, It's not enough to to charge the car so uh, Well, is it is it useful at all to have? You know, a panel on the Tesla? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, it depends. Okay, because obviously you can't drive around with this thing. Uh, it's, it's uh, I mean, <laughs> um, even if you had bigger panels, you cannot drive around with a big, like, big setup like this. So, of course, if you, all, if you had one, one square meter on the roof that was always active and always harvesting energy, Yes, uh, that will help, but you see that the power from that little panel is so it's so small that you can't rely on getting you know uh, getting enough power for propulsion. That would take forever. Like you could you could have to sit here for weeks before you could charge it to full. Uh, I haven't done the quick math, but you you get the idea. Uh, so the only useful thing with a panel is to reduce vampire drain because vampire drain is um, when the car has some computers that are always running uh, even when you kind of like shut off the car it's always running and um, when you park your car at let's say uh, the airport or whatever is not in use it will always drain some power and it depends if it's in save mode or like power saving mode or not but uh, normally you um, you drain about like 40 to over 100 watts constantly and you I've seen I mean I've shown you here that on a good day with one panel 
you can get about like around 100 watt on one panel so that means that one panel is enough to reduce or to eliminate the vampire drain you have in a Tesla. Now Tesla is kind of unique because uh, it has that vampire drain. Other cars like Nissan Leaf, Hyundai Ioniq or whatever, they don't have it. <laughs> but on the other hand, they are not like online like Tesla is. So I would say that, um, yes, it kind of helps to reduce vampire drain. And that means that you can park your car um, at uh, the airport for six months and it will still not drain itself but for propulsion no uh, and how much would it cost to implement it um, probably uh, some extra and also it could add some extra weight to the roof but um, I would say maybe it depends yeah sometimes it would be useful sometimes won't make any difference uh, and also well I forgot to mention that we are parking the Sun so um, in case the car is parked in a parking garage then the, the effect is way way lower yeah we could try to wait when I mean actually the Sun is getting weaker now uh, and if we get well we could wait for a cloud and there are no, no clouds right now but um, we could I mean actually the power might have been reduced already while we're just standing here so it was was it again? 5 amp, 105 volt or something, right? Uh, so this was a fairly good case. Okay, you see, oh, oh, you see? It was 5 to 6 amps. Now it's down to 4 amp. 4 times, quick math. 4 times, what, 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 what? Oh, it, oh, that's it? Um, We've been reduced to uh, 350, uh, about 300, a little over 300 uh, watts right now. Yeah, that is a uh, big difference. So, um, you can't expect the car to be in the sun for 24 hours. So it will be in the shade, it will be in parking cars, it will be, I don't know, places where the PV won't work at all or have very little effect. So, um, yeah. I think that's my conclusion after testing this. <laughs> maybe, um, maybe not. Uh, yes. So, um, anyway, I think. Uh, oh, hang on. But oh, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, it was interesting to test this again. I've tested one time before, uh, but the test is in uh, more sunny weather. Yeah. So um, that's it for now. Then. So talk to you guys later.